on your delivery day, uh, this hitch is all going to be pre-assembled for you. And we're going to walk you through it, you know, step by step on how to hitching up your vehicle. But this is like a generalization of, of what you can expect uh, on how it to work, basically. Um, and again, on your vehicle, these settings may be a little bit different, but you will get the exact settings uh, on your vehicle on your pickup day. Uh, but what we're using today is a Cadillac SRX 2017 model, and it has the V6 engine in it. So uh, it was a good candidate uh, to use one of these hitches on. Uh, it has a 5,000 pound rating approximately, so um, it's not a, a heavy duty vehicle, but it definitely can pull one of these casitas with no problem. But I'm gonna start up here with the front, what we have. So up front, uh, I call this the head unit and this piece slides into the factory receiver hitch and then from the head unit we have this base plate and then we have chains on each side that follow back to these brackets now these two brackets back here there's one on this side and one on the other side these are specially ordered for casita so you cannot go to the anderson website and purchase a kit like this and get these brackets so these are made you know just for us so I recommend, you know, if you decide wanting one of these hitches, uh, get one from us. It'll, it'll be a lot easier obtaining all the pieces. Um, but it goes together in four different phases, basically. Uh, the head, the chains, um, this unit, and then actually setting it. And I'm going to take it apart and then put it together. And there is a few different settings. Uh, the first setting is going to be the bolt hole. Uh, every vehicle, this bolt pattern is going to be different depending on the vehicle and also back here on the thread count every vehicle is going to be a little bit different also but on your delivery day uh, the technician that delivers your trailer will give you uh, the information on your hitch that uh, coincides with your vehicle but right now it's all it's all set up to remove it what we're going to do is lower it down and when I lower it down I'm picking it up so I'm picking up the trailer and the vehicle together. And the reason why I'm picking it up first, I want to get all the weight off the chains before I relieve the pressure so they, they come off nice and easy and they don't snap back at you. And just a few more cycles till they get loose. Okay, and then back here to take them off, we're just going to undo this nut. This piece is going to drop down. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Now with both sides completely off, I'm going to lower it down even a little bit more to take this plate off. I'm going to pull the cotter pin out and then there's a little cotter key. Okay, like that, that plate removes and now you can release it down a little bit further. And now you can release it from the tow vehicle. Okay, and now the tow vehicle is completely free from it. To put it back on, I'm just going to go in steps. First step is this plate. It's held on with this little bolt. And there's a cotter pin on the other side. Then, then you have to lower it down on the ball. Okay, once you have it on the ball, then you pick it all the way back up. And that's another good reason to get an electric tongue jack. It makes it so much easier doing this.
Okay. This piece is going to slide through here. Followed by the little red, I'm not sure what they call that. And then a big flat washer. And it's gonna be the same deal with the other side. Now there are a lot of videos out there, uh, how-to videos on YouTube on the Anderson hitches. We just found that this works best for the Casita. Now, on this setup, we predetermined that four threads is, is ideal for the trailer and the truck to be leveled together. So it's already on number three. So here we go, one, two, three, four threads. And I'm gonna make sure the other side is on the fourth thread also. The socket comes with the setup, but the ratchet doesn't. So um, it's a good idea to bring a ratchet um, of your own. It's a half inch driver. Now, right now it's all under tension. So all I have to do is lower the trailer down. Almost. All right. So now the hitch is on correctly. The Anderson weight distribution hitch is set up correctly for this vehicle. Um, now to finish connecting it, uh, first thing we'll do is remove the, um, the wheel. So you don't want to travel with the wheel on there, like so. You'll take the safety chains that come with the Casita and you want to crisscross them like that. And these, there's little eyelets already provided on the hitch. Uh, you'll want to take the lock, the coupler lock that comes with the Casita. Be sure you put that in place so that's on. Uh, next is called the breakaway cable and that's just going to loop through the eyelet where I have one of the safety chains and we use this little carabiner clip and I'm going to hook it right back to itself just like that so it's riding above everything and now this trailer is connected uh, besides the power cord which we're going to show you here shortly 